we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit itself intercedes from Romans 8. In the film, A Man for All Seasons, Sir Thomas More, who was the chancellor, if you remember, for, the King, for King Henry VIII, was in prison for refusing to sign a oath affirming the king's right to divorce and remarry in order to secure a male heir. Before his trial and execution, Thomas More's daughter tried to convince him to sign the oath with a mental reservation. And so he cupped his hands to show that holding water would fail if one finger was released. His integrity required a total decisive event. As Jesus set his face towards Jerusalem and the fate that he knew, knew awaited him, he invited an allegiance from all his disciples, knowing that they would falter. Knowing he was controversial and people withheld their commitment, he used the image of a narrow gate to describe the passage that they would need to make to follow him through this time of crisis to resolute discipleship. St. Luke reminded his community that this is the cost of discipleship. So often we fall into a surface faith and, and a certain contentment. And so often today's believers do not consciously refuse to commit in faith, but there is a ongoing lack of focus at times. I think Paul captured that preference or that in today's first reading. Believers want to pray, but didn't know how. We want to pray, but so often get lost in a culture with media noise and, and some overstimulation and, and constant anxieties. Paul assures us that just, that just a desire to pray is a sign that the Spirit is praying within us and for us. The Spirit knows our hearts and intercedes for us according to God's will. Spending time each day with the word, we will benefit from listening to the living voice of Jesus in the gospel. Just carrying perhaps a phrase from the sacred scriptures throughout every day can be a lifeline to sustaining us in our relationship with God. That kind of intimacy is really the essence and the goal of all prayer. Let that be our goal, to be in that intimate relationship with God in our prayer.